like it is always said, we only live once. We only live once. Your love, right? Even if God has destined someone to live 100 years, 200 years on earth, each birthday is a reminder that there is a plus one in one some years on earth. You understand? So when we celebrate and jubilate on our birthdays, then we should also have some quiet time to remember that there is a plus one. To remember that we will not live on earth forever. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. Please, if you haven't subscribed, could you please kindly click the subscribe button? If you have subscribed, from the depth of my heart, Gloria Cheesy O is saying thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, I decided to make a video on birthday today. Yes, it's in one of my list of um, videos to make. But I decided to make it today. Maybe because of the gift I received. Um, that looks like if today is my birthday. The video before this one. Birthday as spiritual. But sometimes we take our birthday as every other day. We take our birthdays as it's nothing. We take our birthdays as it's normal. Can I tell you that there are some people during their birthdays, money seizes from their hand. Days to their birthday, eh? no matter how they are controlling money or how do I put it, eh? money seizes from their hand. Now, that is a spiritual sign. It's, it's something that happens year to year, year to year. Yes. Money seizes from their hand. That is a spiritual sign that I, I, I have had a one or two persons with this. Now, how does money seizes from their hand? Now, even if you are, even if you have, um, there are some people that are disciplined. They have this account that is for this. This one is for chopping, chopping. This one, no matter what, they don't really touch it. You understand? So that account that is for chopping, chopping, that they can take anything from there to celebrate their birthday and all that. Before they know it, they have nothing, and almost nothing in that account for them to celebrate that birthday in a big way. And if there are the times that are displayed not to touch um, a particular account that is not meant for chopping, chopping, they may not want to go into that one. You understand? But immediately once their birthday passes, they realize that they begin to get little, little money, the one they can use for chopping, chopping. So they have observed this as a pattern. This is like a spiritual warning. Sometimes birthday is not meant for Louding it, louding it. Sometimes birthday is more meant for solitude, quietness, ob uh, quietness, observation. Sometimes, birth, for some persons, birthday is supposed to be a thing of thanksgiving to God and to the less privileged. But sometimes we take it. I'm not saying if you can, because if I can, I will. But I don't think I, I love that aspect of celebrating because there was a time I wasn't celebrating like that. I know that, you understand. But if you can and you wish to celebrate your birthday in a big way, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But I want to tell us some things you can do on your birthday. First and foremost is acknowledging that birthdays are spiritual. Your birthdays are a new year to you alone. Your birthdays, 7 o.m., 12 days to your birthday, are days you should take spiritually serious. When it comes to new year, we take new year with all seriousness. We probably go to church to shout happy new year, you understand? But do you know that personally your birthday is your own new year? You don't walk into your next chapter of life just like that and then walk out of it again just like that. See, in this life, eh, there are some people that um, God has just made life so easily for them. There are some of us that need to walk it. I am telling you that is the truth. There are some of us that need to walk it spiritually, prayerfully and hustling. There are some people, maybe parents or their love or star or how do I put it? It's just easy for them. So you don't have to be comparing yourself with others. No, you don't compare your journey, your story, your step 
with other persons of story and journey in life no but find out what is your own journey what do you know are you are you the type that you have to work it out eh then god almighty will perfect it or are you the type that you have to just sit and god almighty will just be sending people that will be perfect i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say find out so that we don't keep living a circle I was living a circle years back. Yes, I was living a circle. Not until I told myself the truth. No, it, it, it shouldn't be done this way. I said, God, please, this is enough. I have tried these other circles and all that. Then I decided to accept that nature is God's gift to mankind. I decided to accept that there is what is called life. And in that life, there is what is called spirituality. Now, take for example... 12 days before your birthday, you can start some spiritual exercises. One of these exercises is the exercise of letting go. So search, search yourself deeply. Who am I holding in my mind? Who am I holding with all forgiveness? What is a pattern of life I have been living that has not yelled anything? What is the pattern of life that I need to go? Who do I need to let out of my life? Who do I need to let into my life? All this between 12 days to your birthday use those 12 days to your birthday to let go one of the ways you can also let go in these 12 days is to cleanse yourself yes cleanse yourself so that you don't enter into the new year of your life with another circle and another the uh, same pattern cleanse yourself one of the best cleansings you can give yourself three days before your birthday is the cleanse and um, Bayleaf, do you know that um, Gova leaf has its own spiritual uses? Bayleaf, Gova leaf, scent leaf, boil these leaves together, sieve it, extract the water, and then add seven seeds of alligator pepper if you can. If you cannot, those leaves are okay. And use those leaves three days before your birthday to have a Cleansing bath, a letting go bath. When you boil these leaves together, get some quantities, boil them together, and then add the. When you sieve it, pour it into a bucket of uh, a bucket. Please do not add extra water to it. Let it just be the water you boil together. You understand? Then get seven liters of alligator pepper. Add it to it. Get some salt. Add it to it. If you don't have alligator pepper, I'm saying this because of some persons in other countries. Please go ahead and do this bath with these three leaves. If you can get them, if you cannot get the complete three leaves, please anyone you can get. The most important thing is that you are letting go, you are batting out things you don't want to go into to go into the new year of your life with you. Now, especially when you know that things are not working the way you want them to be. Remember, at the end of the day, it is only God that gives a man testimony. It is only God that changes the life and story of a man. But we can only do our best and leave the rest to God. When you have this bath for three days before your birthday, then again, on your birthday, on your birthday, you are going to also have, if you can afford it, on your birthday, please endeavor from your inner wear to the outer wear. Endeavor to wear something new. Endeavor to also have Pray for financial breakthrough. Also have money in your pocket if you can, no matter how little it is. Then there's this other prayer ritual um, that is done on the first day. I have talked about it on the channel, whereby you throw in money into your home. For example, get a denomination of money. For example, in my country, if it's 100, 100 naira, 500 naira, you step outside your house. You understand? Now, outside, it's not outside your compound, your door, the entrance, you understand? Open it, and you take the first, um, say, 100 naira, and you speak good health, um, good health, you throw it in. You speak um, job, good job, you throw it in. You speak, you understand, whatever you are believing God, the testimony you are believing God, 12 different denomination of money. Now, those 12 different denomination of money stands for the 12 months of the... Of your year, you understand. Let's assume your birthday is on the first of January. So the first um, hundred naira, for example, stand for January. The second one stand for February. The third, you understand. Speak the things you want God to do into your life in this new year of your life. And you're, as you're speaking it, you're throwing it in. Now it's like you are throwing in those blessings you are speaking into your home. 
You understand? When you are done, what do you do with this money? Just take the money, pray over it, and then go out and give it out as arms. On your birthday, you can burn some beautiful candle. On the birthday, that, that is after you must have done some things to let go and cleanse yourself um, days before your birthday. Then this, from the day of your birthday, eh? You start doing this some um, spiritual exercises. Start doing things that will bring you favor. Start doing things that will bring you blessing. Start having a um, favor, but start having a um, blessing, but you can burn um, um, candles and then sit beside them meditatively. Pray to God Almighty, telling God that this new year of your life, there should be a turnaround. Now, there is power in one thing I always tell people. You never can tell what it is in life that God or whose ways that God will use to change your story. You understand? I have the most breakthrough or beginning birthday in my life, or how do I put it, that bring about a turnaround in my life. Started, um, my birthday is in November, yes? It started November 20, 2018. Yes, November 2018, less than two years ago. That was a birthday of turnaround in my life. Like I always say, you don't know the prayer of whom that God will listen to and say, I will honor this prayer. Now, and able to do these things, eh? And able to do these things from your heart because of God. Don't be a giver because you want people to praise you. No. Be a giver even behind cameras. Be a giver because that is a part of you. That particular birthday is a birthday I will never forget in a hurry in my life. Yes, I didn't have anything. I didn't even have um, money or whatever. I don't know. On the morning of my birthday, I had this ministration. Get up. Look into your bus. Take um, this wrapper you just kept there. You don't even know when you sew it because you don't even have money to sew it. I took the wrapper, took the little money with me, went out and met a woman that is cooking food. I bought um, some plate of food, went out to share it with some beggars. Then there's this particular woman that is physically challenged. I took the wrapper to her and I take a um, drink and a particular handbag. And some women this thing you understand yes she is physically handicapped but i just i didn't know what to do to make her put a smile on her face yes i went to where she used to sit and i bent down i said mom today is my birthday i want to give you this as a birthday gift this is what i have i don't have money or whatever to give but this is what i have she collected it you know what she said to me she prayed to me she said the next birthday eh you will not come barefooted to come and tell me today is your birthday. You will drive to come and tell me. And I said, Amen. And that is it. Now, my next birthday, which is in 2019, I may have not drive to go and tell her, Mama, today is my birthday. But I there was a change. That was what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. On your birthday, if you can, if you can give arms, if you can. Cook a little food, go and share it with the beggars. If you cannot cook, if it's five plates of food, buy it, go and share it with the beggars. I tell you, arms giving on your birthday is another thing that breaks a barrier. It's another thing that takes you to another level. Don't do it because cheesy or said you should do it. No, do it because it is a part of you. It is a habit, especially for those of us that are so scared of giving out money. You understand when you don't know what to do to your money before you give it out you're scared and i understand then are you scared to give food even if it's one plate of food hundred naira buy it and give it to one hundred person on the road yes you can buy it where the person is you can see some people selling food you understand so that they will not say they don't know where you put inside the food again you know this one is diverse you can buy it where the person is come follow me the person will follow you somebody selling food will sell it and you pay and move your way what am I trying to say? On your birthday, or if you cannot make it on that particular day of your birthday, within five days, within that day, if you can, give arms. It opens way. I don't know. I feel I should shout or talk about arms giving in another dimension. That is another very powerful spiritual tool. Arms giving opens multitude way. Where some things, where some things cannot, uh, I don't know how to put it. Okay, 
there are things that your ordinary, I don't know how to put it, cannot do. But alms giving can break that yoke. I am telling you the truth. I know the things I see in dream pertaining to alms giving. I don't want to talk too much about them. But I want to tell those that believe in alms giving, please keep giving alms. Don't, I, don't give alms because you want God to do something for you. God looks at our hearts. Be a alms giver. And when God will remember those things you have been doing in the past, you don't know when. You don't know who's God bless you that God will say, I will use this God bless you to remember the, um, what this person has been doing in the past. Your birthday as spiritual. Stop taking your birthdays as every other ordinary day. If you're spiritually inclined, you will know that in the spiritual realm, that your birthdays are days that comes with lots of wars and all that. Are days that you have fought battles unknown to you in the spiritual because so many battles, so many things, so many people didn't want you to experience or see the next birthday. So it's not a day you just take with last sitting, with reluctant mind. It's a day you pray over, a day you prepare for spiritually so that your next face of birthday will be full of nothing but laughter and not maybe a repeated circle. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. It's not another person but Gloria Cheesy. Thank you.